welcome to the latest market update. My name is James Ballinger and I'm Head of Advisory here at Money Farm. The oil price war of 2020 came to an end over the Easter weekend as a deal was announced to, re to remove roughly 10% of production from the market. It remains to be seen how effective this will be, especially since demand has fallen over the last uh, month or two. Uh, and uh, the Saudi Aramco uh, indicated that it wants to conti continue to keep its uh, prices competitive, reducing all of May barrel prices. Lockdown in France and Italy were extended into May over the weekend, uh, uh, although the data is suggesting that the continent is now reaching a high plateau phase of the virus and sentiments now turn into how to reopen economies. The UK is expected to extend its own lockdown later this week uh, as it continues to trail uh, the rest of the continent by a, a couple of weeks. There's positive trade news uh, coming out of China uh, overnight uh, with export figures uh, significantly ahead of expectations. Markets took this positively overnight, uh, though, though there's still some concerns that even uh, if the Chinese domestic virus situation improves, uh, if given lockdowns in other countries, uh, ongoing demand for China's goods and supplies uh, won't be as high as expected. Finally, earning, seasons will gear, ge earning season will gear up uh, later this week and today uh, JP Morgan and Wells Fargo will uh, announce their data. It's quite possible that uh, the worst of the news is already priced in and will continue to uh, monitor their information and provide updates uh, as and when necessary. Thank you for watching.